Hey everybody, Nathaniel Bungie here for Tech Session with another App Session video. Now today's is going to be focusing upon something that a lot of people have always tried to do, and that's to get the most out of Snapchat. Now you probably know by default that Snapchat does not allow you to do a ton in terms of customization and things that they don't want you to do. So that's where you need to get a second app. Now one thing to note about this app is it is Android only. You need to download the APK file, which I will link down below, or you can find at casper.io. And of course you go ahead, just tap on it once it's downloaded, it'll install on your device. If you have an iOS device, you're going to want to use Phantom and Extensify. Those are going to be your options. I don't necessarily know if they can do the same things as Casper, but this is your free Android option. So let's get right into it. So of course here on the normal Snapchat app, you are very limited in terms of what you can do. You can't upload a picture that you're going to send, for example, and you really just... You don't have a ton you can do, even in terms of just sending a normal image. So if I take a picture of this MacBook, for example. If I come in here, I only have a few filters that I'm able to use here. And as you can see, I don't have any geo filters in my town either. If we come down here towards the bottom, you can see there's not a ton of options on this bottom bar either. You have your stickers, obviously the new video tracking stickers on Android, which are pretty cool around here. Text is sort of limited too, because you only get the default font that you can use on your device and there's really not basically a lot you can customize with that either I mean you can of course adjust the size placement of it you can adjust the color when you're in there too if you want and I, I guess that's a lot for most people but some people just want to get the most out of their snapchat and you can't necessarily achieve that with the default client so we're just gonna go ahead and send off the app here to text session which I don't really use by the way if you want to add me go ahead but I don't really use it so we'll send it off and then if we pop in to the app that I'm going to be showing you today, you're going to get to see how you can get the most out of your Snapchat, how you can hack it, if you will. So we're just going to pop in here, and we're going to go immediately into Casper. Casper is the Snapchat app that I use when I want to just confuse people, mess with people, or just get the most out of my Snapchat. So you can see right here is the Snapchat that we just sent from Tech Office, which I also don't really use. One new snap zero minutes ago. So with the normal Snapchat client, if you were to open this, you'd only have as much time as they specified between 1 and 10 seconds to open it and look at it. If you screenshot it, they'll be notified. If you replay it, you'll be notified. But there's a little bit different thing going on here. If we tap on the Snapchat, it'll go ahead and download it. There are ads in this app as well. By the way, you can purchase add-ons to remove those. Just tap on the Snapchat here, and boom. There's the Snapchat that we just sent. But notice that 3-second timer on the upper corner of the screen is not moving at all. We can look at this as much as we want to. We can go ahead and download it. Now it's saved in our app device's camera gallery. And what's really cool about this app too is you do not let the other person know you've opened it until you specify. So right here, according to the normal Snapchat app, we haven't even opened it yet. It's just simply been delivered. So we're going to pop back into Casper. We're going to look at this and we're just going to see what happens if we quick go over here as Mark replayed. So now the Snapchat client, you can see, text session replayed your snap. So that's just a really, really cool way to do this, is just to mess with people, to do all this stuff without them knowing. And you see, we can still tap to view it, even though it's been marked as viewed. So if we come over here again, we can also mark it as screenshot, or we can do a really creepy thing, send it as a snap. And this will basically send the Snapchat right back to the person that sent it. Now, of course, you can do whatever you want to with the Snapchat. You could add more to it, add less to it, whatever you want to do. It's just a really, really fun way to mess with people. Now, you see we have a Snapchat from Tech Session. This is a Snapchat we just sent. So that part's a little bit confusing to explain on video, but uh, I can assure you that it definitely works very well. So what we're going to do now is look over here. You do see we have the live stories. So if we were to tap on Bridal Fashion, for example, you get Snapchats with their respective filters and their respective text. Now, you're not always going to want to have that if you're going to be sending somebody a Snapchat. You might want just a stripped-down version of something on a public story. And you're allowed to do that in the Casper app. If we swipe over here, here's the bridal fashion story again. We'll go ahead and download one that looks like it has a filter. Um, looks like this one has a filter. Yep. There's some text on there. So if we go up here, send a snap, keep the drawing and caption for the forwarded video. So if we hit no, it takes the text off. And then we are allowed to send it right back to somebody. This, in my opinion, is extremely cool. Now, not only are we allowed to send this Snapchat, but we're also allowed to go into the story and download it without them knowing. So instead of just downloading it, we can always screenshot it or whatever, 
but that's only going to get one frame of the video. If you download a video on the Casper client for Snapchat, it'll save the whole entire video with audio, which is extremely useful and extremely cool. And again, you have share, send a snap mark screenshot. If you go ahead and share it, you get a ton of options where you can upload this video or this picture and send it off to somebody. And that's super, super useful. Now, if you keep swiping over, there's really not a ton to look at. You get your stories, you get your friends list right here, get your friend requests. And then if you come all the way over to this edge, you have your menu. This is where you can navigate between those parts that we just went over, but without having to go through anything else. Save Snaps will open up the folder of all the Snapchats you've saved in the past. Then you get your friends and your add-ons. Now if we go ahead over here and hit Get Add-ons, this is where it gets very interesting and very flexible. If you want to add more features to your Casper app for Android, you are definitely able to do so through the add-ons. Right here you can see we have three add-ons available at the moment. Three bucks to remove ads, a buck twenty-nine for your custom filter that you can upload. A buck twenty-nine to have multiple accounts and switching between them without having to log out and log in. And then stickers, it's been removed from newer versions of Casper. Not entirely sure what that would have been. So all you do there is just add it to your account and then log into Casper. Come down here and then hit check for purchases and it'll go ahead and check if you have any add-ons purchased. So you can keep scrolling down a little bit more. You have your fonts management, your ad account where you can follow the creator. Thank you so much to him because he made this great app. If you have over here to settings, you can have your automatic features, I guess, automatically mark them as viewed, automatically save them, choose your default camera. This is really cool. You can use the Casper camera or the one that came with your device. You can also automatically download the snaps or stories, show your document chooser when you want to open the gallery, enable these things right here if you're on a certain device, have a custom video thumbnail, clear your conversations, remember your password, location updates, and then you get a couple of your normal Snapchat things dealing with privacy. Get your circle story icons, your snap story and time, light of events, viewer toolbar, enable notifications and check interval, background uploads, quick launch, swipe stories, Casper directory, clear cache, get beta updates, and about. There is really a lot going on in this app, and that's just another reason I love it. But if you want to send a Snapchat from scratch, this is another part where you have a lot of power within this app. If we tap on the plus button, you do see we have the material design, which is really nice. We'll go ahead and do a new blank snap just to start off with. New blank snap is just what it sounds like, just a straight up black screen, blank screen, where you can do whatever you want to with it. But that's kind of boring. We're going to go ahead, and we're just going to pick something a little bit different. We're going to launch from camera. So again, we can go ahead and take a picture of something. Let's just do outside, I guess. We'll go ahead and snag a picture out there. And then you have a ton of options, as you can already see. If we go over here, hit the ABC, this is all your text options. So we're just going to put nice day outside. So we got nice day outside. And then, not only can you just type like you could in the normal Snapchat client, you can also adjust alignment to left align, which you cannot do in the default app. And then you can have your center manipulation, your right or your left aligned manipulation, and then just remove your text altogether. But for purposes of demonstrating this, we're going to just go through some of these features. Here you can rotate the text, which is also very interesting. So you can go ahead and change your text color here. Snapchat does not allow you to change your text color unless you are in the big font, I guess. Not if you have the little gray bar behind it, that's when you can't change it. But with this app, you can. We'll just go ahead and hit OK. Now I have this reddish orange pink font, I guess. But you're also allowed to change the color of that gray bar in the background. So we're just going to go ahead here, brighten it up, and we'll make it blue, I guess, and just hit OK, and boom. This is already way more custom than you can get with the default client. Hit this button right here. You have a slider to adjust your text size. You can get way bigger than you're supposed to on the default, or way smaller so it's unreadable. Put it about here so it fills up the screen. The plus button will just normally increase the font by like one, I guess. Change font is also where you get a lot more flexibility going on. This is where you can essentially use any font in the world on your Snapchat. Now, of course, if you're on Android, you can change the font your device is using, and that'll change your Snapchat font. But if you're somebody like me, you like a clean font. And if you want to use something different, you don't want to mess up your whole device, basically. So we'll just go ahead and download a new font. We'll download Assassins. It's very easy. Just tap it, and it changes your font to that. Of course, there are so many other fonts you can use in here, and just download them when you want to use them. Download pretty quickly, too, and boom, there you go. And if you ever want to go back to your device font, just hit Use Default Font. But we're just going to change it to Assassins again, because that looks kind of cool. Come down here. 
hit that little icon down there, your filter icon, and you can see we have a ton of filters. These are absolutely not available in the default Snapchat client, but they are super, super cool nonetheless. So we're going to go ahead and use that one. Hit the globe icon. This is something that really lets you mess with people hardcore. If you want to pretend you're somewhere in the world that you're absolutely not, this is where you can do it from. So, of course, I am in Iowa right now, not in New York City, but my friends don't have to know that. If we go ahead and pop into New York City, we'll go there, for example. Just tap on that location, hit the check mark at the top. It will load the geo filters from that location. This is something you cannot do in the normal client. Normally, you have to actually be at a location to access their geo filters, but Casper will let you bypass that. You see our toast notification, two geo filters at location. Just swipe to the left, New York, TGIF. And then there is something down there in white, which we can't read, so we'll just color behind that quick. And apparently we can't color behind that text, so we'll just undo that. But, yeah, the point being, you have filters from the location that you're not actually at. Of course, again, you have your standard timer. It can't go over 10, which is kind of a disappointment. And then right here, you have where you can rotate your image. Notice that it did take off the filter, which is kind of a, kind of a bummer, I think. But that'll let you look at the Manhattan filter right there, I guess. Right here, you can adjust your fit to screen or fill screen if you import a photo. And then here's also another place where it gets really cool, your emojis. Of course, I'm on Android, so I'm going to be using these emoji or the Samsung emojis. But if you want to use an Apple emoji, for example, boom. If you want to use a Twitter emoji, for example, boom. And if you want to use an iEmoji and just get super customizable, just basically something that absolutely nobody else on Snapchat has, you can go ahead and do that. So we'll just pick turn up because it's a great day outside and, you know, why, why not? We'll go ahead and pick, I don't know, let's pick something kind of crazy in here. Um, You can see, of course, we have a ton of options, and there are a lot more if you look at the other categories. We'll just go with this thing. I don't know what he's supposed to be doing. Looks like he's drinking. Yeah, there we go. So we'll just go ahead and pick him, and if you wanted to add a ton more, of course you can do that. There's absolutely no limit to how much and what you can add. And again, the really interesting part is how we're on Android, but we have access to cross-platform emojis. It's just something that's super, super cool. So we're going to get out of that menu, and then you have your flipping your picture horizontally and vertically, which is also really cool. Then we can download it down here, and then go ahead and send it off. We're going to go ahead and send it off to Tech Office so we can view it in the normal Snapchat client. And boom, we have another Snapchat. I don't remember what that first one was, but of course we can go ahead and look at it. That was definitely the story that we sent without the text. And then this one, basically our crazy modded Snapchat. Nothing about this screams normal to all your friends. They're going to have their minds blown when you seem to switch devices or be in places that you're absolutely not. It's just a really, really cool thing you can do. Now, as I mentioned, you can also upload a picture to Snapchat. So we're going to go ahead and pop into this camera here quick. And we're going to take a picture that is just... I guess different than what you could receive in Snapchat. So we're going to take a picture of this pillow here, we'll say. So we're going to take a picture of this pillow here. Now you do notice we've taken that picture. What we're going to do now is hop into the picture itself. If you come down here to share, we can go ahead and share it with Casper. And boom, our picture's in there. Now you can also upload this picture from that little plus button on the main screen, but if you just want to do it this way, it'll work too. Obviously, we did not take this picture in the Snapchat app, but we still have the full customization options that we would if we would have taken the picture in the Casper app. So we're just going to speed through a couple edits here and make it look crazy. Now, as you can see that just there, a lot of the time you'll accidentally tap on an ad, and I've been very tempted to upgrade and remove those ads for that very reason. It's just really annoying. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the Snapchat here. And there you go. We got Drake in Egypt with a depressed emoji with a picture not taken through Snapchat, custom text, custom colors, etc. That's really not all you can do with this app. There's a ton more that you're allowed to do, but I obviously can't really show you everything in this video because there is just basically unlimited possibilities like for example if you did not want to use this casper app you could use a your your device's default camera app which would allow you to customize everything so much more 
So instead of being limited to, with your zoom, having compressed images and stuff, use your device's default camera. Be able to zoom in as far as you want and be able to take super crisp pictures in your own resolution. Snapchat does compress pictures and videos, but if you take a picture or video through Casper, that problem is not present. So yeah, there's really so much that I'm probably missing something, but this should give you a nice overview of how you can modify your Snapchat game to be something envied by everyone you know. You can't do any of this stuff with the default app. Basically everything on this app is incredible. There is so much, and whoever the developer is, I have to give him a huge shout out. This app is incredible. Now one important thing to note is if you want to risk your Snapchat getting locked, then this app is perfectly fine. But if you want to make sure your Snapchat stays pristine by Snapchat's eyes, you never get it blocked or disabled, this app is not for you. Because Snapchat can tell when people use an app that is not the default Snapchat app, and they will lock your account. This has happened to me a couple times, and they've threatened to shut my account down permanently if I do it again. Of course, I've kept doing it. it. hasn't gotten shut down yet, so I might be lucky, or they might be lying. I don't really know. But the point is, I wouldn't necessarily risk it if you're maybe like a high-profile person with a ton of friends and a ton of following. You're just not going to want to do that type of thing to your Snapchat. So in summary, this app is just for the everyday person who wants to take their Snapchat game to the max. Just do things nobody else can do. And I really don't see any problem then with doing it. Just go ahead, take a picture, throw on some crazy text, and basically blow your friends' minds with this app. So until next time, again, this is Nathaniel Bungie with the Casper app for Snapchat. See you next time.